Sometimes the heart sees what is invisible to the eyes, and this may well have been the case for the girl named Talia. Since she was small, she had spent her days with her grandfather, as Talia never knew her parents. Her mother died in childbirth, and her father had disappeared long before that. A sickly child, Talia had been haunted by illness since birth, a trait she inherited from her mother. As a result of her poor health, she was never able to make friends. She never knew why everyone seemed so distant and cruel. Only that her grandfather was always there for her when she needed him. Unfortunately, good things do not last, and poor Talia would soon realize this. On the day of the new year, Talia's grandfather took her out for lunch at a small cafe as a treat. However, halfway through the sitting, Talia collapsed. Talia's grandfather soon panicked and ran out to get her medication from the car. But neither he nor the car saw each other until it was too late. By the time an ambulance arrived, only Talia would survive the ordeal. This event took a heavy toll on Talia. Refusing to speak to anyone, she shut herself away from the world. There was, however, one thing she took solace in, and that was her grandfather's snow globe. She would spend hours staring at the thing, dreaming of who knows what. One morning, she decided to go for a walk. She didn't know why, only that she felt she should. And as she sat down to watch the sunrise, I found her. I had been daydreaming at the time, marveling at my own brilliance when I saw her sitting there, alone. I recognized her from school. We didn't attend the same class, but I'd still occasionally seen her in passing. It shocked me how desolate she looked, and I couldn't help but pity her. So it was that I went with an impulse and decided to talk to her. She was hesitant at first, didn't seem to trust me very much, but after some encouragement she opened up. She told me about all sorts of things, from stuff like her childhood to her feelings about the heavy metal genre. I hadn't expected her to be so mm, conversational but I was still pleased to find that this girl was far more interesting than I had initially thought. I was so intrigued by this transformation that I asked why she looked so sad earlier. This provoked a reaction I hadn't prepared for. As Talia became sullen and told me about her grandfather, her sudden shift in tone disturbed me and I immediately regretted questioning her mood. So. That's when I did something stupid, and I chose to be the hero. Using my powers of persuasion, I tried to convince Talia that no one was to blame for the death of her grandfather, least of all her, and that the last thing she should do was blame herself for it. So I took her snow globe, to use as an analogy for the bubble she had placed herself in, and then I did the worst thing possible. I dropped it. Now, I will be the first to admit that that may not have been my finest moment, nor would I deny regretting my actions, but at the time I didn't have any idea how badly I had shaken Talia. However, I realized rather quickly that I had done something I shouldn't have when she broke into tears and ran away. So, that night I went to pay her a visit. I had a theory that she thought I had been baiting her along until I could smash her snow globe. Now, were that true, I would be the biggest jerk in history. So, I decided to make amends and apologize for my actions. Mayhap that would be the first step towards repairing our relationship. 
I wasn't very surprised when she didn't answer the door, considering the state she was in. Nevertheless, I persisted. When she continued to ignore me, concern started worming its way into my mind. Did she get home safely? Was she all right? Why were the lights still on? These questions soon blossomed into panic as several worst-case scenarios played out in my active imagination. Before long, I was forcing my way into the house. It may have been a little extreme, but at the time it seemed the sensible thing to do. It wasn't long before I found her, but not in the condition I had hoped for. Now, all this happened 12 days ago, and an ambulance arrived in time to save Talia's life. However, due to her anemia, the blood loss proved too much, and she's spent the past fortnight unconscious. The doctors say she'll wake up soon, but uh, that hasn't stopped me from worrying about her. It's still my fault she's like this. You know, it's only through the luxury of hindsight that I can see why my actions had the consequences they did. Talia talked to me because I was the first person to make an effort to befriend her since her grandfather died. And she reacted so severely when I broke the snow globe because she thought that my attempts at friendship were merely a ploy to bully her. But it still doesn't explain why she would go so far as to attempt suicide. I mean, surely she could cope with one more stranger betraying her. Unless... Oh, unless she had feelings for me. <sighs> now I feel even worse. How did I not realize this? No wonder she reacted so badly. <sighs> so now what? How do I fix this? It's not like I can wake her with a kiss, can I? Wait, could I? <sighs> 